Hey everyone, I just wanted to send a quick thank you to everyone who watched and commented on my last vlog um, where I filmed a Saturday on campus. Um, anyway, on the last vlog we made food and had a good time and if you haven't seen that and you're interested in that, you can find it on Juniata's Instagram and YouTube. Anyway, today's vlog will be a Tuesday in my life. Just kidding, kind of. T today's vlog is going to be a productive day of classes and homework with some socially distant social interactions flashed in there, of course. Um, boring, I know, but if you're interested in seeing what a day of classes is like at Junia this semester, keep watching. On Tuesday mornings, I have two online classes in a row, so usually I roll out of bed around 8 a.m. and put on a t-shirt and sweatpants. And then I, well, here's me realizing that I should make my bed, and so I made my bed. And then here's also me gesturing that I already brushed my teeth and washed my face, which is not on camera. But, um, so there's my mini morning routine. So, my first class of the day is digital storytelling on Zoom. This was at 9 a.m. I was Zooming from my living room, and if you watched my last video, you should already know this, but I'm living in a house off campus this semester with seven other housemates. Um, Zooming from my living room isn't always ideal, but majority of my housemates are sleeping or in class at this time, so I usually don't have to worry about them bothering me during this class. I, um, I always Zoom from my living room just because it's where I have the best Wi-Fi connection. Um, this class runs until 10.15. Then after a tiny break, my next class, International Economic Issues, is at 10.30. Um, I didn't really film that because it was just me sitting at my computer for more time. After those two classes, I took a shower and got actually ready for the first time of the day. I also ate lunch at this time and just preheated some mac and cheese for lunch. Around 1, I have my third class of the day. Um, this class is asynchronous with no required Zoom meeting, however I do have to do readings and participate in the discussion forum, um, so I did that at this time, and um, here's me doing that and completing some homework during this break before my next class. Then I packed up and grabbed my water bottle to head to my next class at 3, which I have with my friend Claire, who you may recognize from questions on the quad. <laughs> I welcome, I welcome to the vlog. <laughs> um, this class is Entertainment Media Strategies with Jared LeGru, and it was Jared's birthday on Tuesday, so we played him a video. <laughs> <laughs> That was the most epic birthday song. Oh, we could watch this one too. <laughs> <laughs> that was class. Oh, uh, you know, it was pretty decent. Um, my stomach was growling a lot, but I am ready uh, to do homework for Jared. To do homework for Jared? That's fun homework. Yes, agreed. Yes. After class, we went down to the digital media studio to get some homework done. Then Claire and I walked to Baker to go get some food for dinner. If you're not on campus and you're wondering what the dining situation is, I'll fill you in. You can either make a reservation or you can get food to go. This day the weather was really nice, so my friends and I got food to go and ate our dinner outside on the quad. While the weather has been nice, I found that this is the best way to be socially distant and have a laugh with friends over dinner. This is genuinely probably my favorite part of the day. I thought while we were outside socializing, I should ask my friends Claire and Tori some questions for the vlog. Let me see Ooh. your nice baker meal. Yeah. Let me see it, let me, let me see you it. You want to flex? I want to flex. Oh. oh my gosh, she got I two know. pieces of garlic bread. <laughs> they bought it, they liked me. Give me your greatest tour guide experience ever. My greatest tour guide experience ever. Hmm. You know, there's been so many great <laughs> tour guide experiences. I really can't just put one thing on it. But I will say, this one time, I, I love musicals. Everyone knows I love musicals because I don't stop singing them. And the one time I gave a tour to another girl who loved musicals. Now, did she get to see Juniata? Yes. Did she get to hear about Juniata? Not so much because we talked about musicals the entire time. And that was the day I got paid $7.25 to talk about musicals to a girl. And I don't know if she actually is here, but if you're here, I really hope that I get to meet you one day because I'm so glad that we completely got sidetracked and became best friends in that one second. So every time we, I give a tour to, I write thank you letters to the people that went on tour as a thank you for checking out Juniata. I'm so glad you did it. Please come here. And one time this girl wrote back to me and gave me a thank you letter, not just for the thank you letter, but for being a great person. And 
legit i teared up a little bit because that is so day, cute but this girl really made my day better by sending me a thank you letter so yeah and it's my tour guide stories thank you thank you thanks for the feature <laughs> hey tori how's it going it's great um i'm trying to think of a question for you fun fact about huntington yes oh my gosh tori is a huntington local <laughs> Please give us some great fun facts about okay. Huntington. Let's see. Robert Downey Jr.'s grandma used to live here. <gasps> so, a couple people that I know have like seen Robert Downey Jr. walk around. What is that? Iron Man? <laughs> invent the spiral notebook oh yeah the tablet was invented in Huntington Ooh, the glass that's used in an astronaut spacesuit was invented in Huntington yeah. Claire has a lot of <laughs> random facts on her most recent vlog called questions on the quad Jack, questions, <laughs> questions on the quad Thank you, um, and go check that out if you want to hear more Huntington uh, facts and Juniata facts. Oop, another outfit change. I'm going to start working on homework because I had a lot to do tonight. I made my to-do list with a lot on it and it was a bit overwhelming. And here's just a little bit of caffeine to help me through it. Then I completed one of my assignments and checked back around 8. If you noticed, this is my cat Miss Sunshine as my lock screen. Then another hour goes by and I realized I didn't have homework for one of the classes that I thought I did. Um, which is a big win and I completed another thing on my to-do list too. Here's me scrolling through my video production writing assignments page. At Juniata we use Moodle for our class sites and if you haven't used it before I would say it's similar to Google Classroom um, which is what we used in my high school in Virginia. Um, then after completing some more assignments and inevitably putting something off until the next day I was done with homework for the night. My days usually aren't this busy and stressful but today was a day for homework that i had been pushing back or needed to push forward in order to have time to work on this vlog um so i hope you enjoyed talking about my day and if you guys have any questions about student life right now feel free to drop them in the comments um remember that my vlogs come out every other monday and um thanks everyone for watching and see ya